I have the most exciting news. The owner of an art gallery in town saw some of my sketches and has asked me to do some more for a special art show. <laughs> no, sorry, Meryl. I won't be doing a new portrait of you for the show. The owner of the art gallery wants a bunch of still lifes of berries. <laughs> hey, sorry, you can't eat these. I'm going to be sketching them. Don't worry, we have plenty of other food for you to eat. Let me see. Wow, they really want some specific sketches. A picture of two congruent figgy berries that reflect each other, and a picture of three or more similar mago berries, and a picture with two berries separated along their lines of symmetry. Uh-oh. Now let me think. These are all different shapes. Maybe Ada can help me. Hi, Tracy. How are your sketches coming along these days? Listen to this. I've been asked to do some drawings for an art gallery. Wow, congratulations. Thanks, but I'm not sure what they want. Listen to these instructions. A picture of two congruent figgy berries that reflect each other, and a picture of three or more similar mago berries, and a picture with two berries separated along their lines of symmetry. Hmm, the terms sound fancy, but I think you'll get the hang of it quickly. Let's start with congruency. Look at these two figures. What do you notice about them? Uh, they look the exact same to me. Exactly. That's what congruent means. Two figures that are identical are congruent. They are the exact same size and shape. Wow, that's it? See? Now, if you look at two figures and want to make sure they are congruent, you can, of course, use your eyes. But if you want to be more precise, you could trace a copy of one figure and place it over the other. If they match exactly, then they're congruent. You could also look at the figures, find the same parts, and measure them to make sure they match. Look at the measurement of the angles on the first figures. Now we'll measure the angles on the second triangle. You can do the same with the lengths of the matching sides. Wow, they really are identical. I mean, congruent. That's right. And it doesn't matter if you turn one upside down or tilt it on its side. They're still congruent. Okay, I understand congruency, but I need to be able to reflect the berries in my picture, though. How can I get them to reflect each other? Do I have to draw a mirror? You're on the right track. You know that when you look in a mirror, you're looking at a reflection of yourself, right? Right. Then when two figures reflect each other, it's like it's flipped over a line. Look at our triangles now. Look at the line between the two triangles. We would say that these triangles are reflected along a vertical line. Now let's move them. I know. Now they're reflected along a horizontal line, right? Exactly. Both images are the same size and shape. They're just reversed. Each point is the same distance from the reflection line. You've got reflections. Now take a look at this pair. What do you notice about them? They look exactly alike, too. I guess they're congruent, right? Are you sure? Look again. Well, one's smaller than the other, but does that really make a difference? They're still the same shape. That's true, but it does make a difference that one is smaller than the other. That makes them similar, but not congruent. So right now we would call them similar, but now they're congruent. I get it. The first two pitaya berries are congruent to each other, but the third one is similar to them, right? You've got it. Now, the last drawing you were asked to do has to do with symmetry, right? Look at this triangle. Now let's fold it exactly in half. See how each half fits exactly over the other? That means the triangle is symmetrical. A line of symmetry is the line you can draw in a figure that divides it exactly into two identical halves. So does every figure have a line of symmetry? You tell me. Look at this triangle. Can we divide it this way? No. How about this way? No. Or this? Or this? Oh, I see. Some figures have a line of symmetry and others don't. Right. Some figures, though, don't just have one line of symmetry. They have a whole bunch. Look at this square. We can divide it this way, this way, this way, and this way. That's four lines of symmetry. Now look at this hexagon. We can divide it this way. I get it. Like this, the palm egg berry has only one line of symmetry. Absolutely. 
I think you've got it, Tracy. Now let's try and find the right matches for some shapes. Look at this figure. Click on the figure that's congruent to the first one. Right! Figures that are the exact same shape and size are congruent. Look at this figure. Click on the figure that's congruent to the first one. Great! Figures that are the exact same shape and size are congruent. Look at this figure. Click on the figure that's congruent to the first one. Awesome! Figures that are the exact same shape and size are congruent. Look at this figure. Click on the congruent figure that reflects the first figure. Bueno! A reflected figure is a flip over a line. Look at this figure. Click on the figure that is similar but not congruent. You've got it! Similar figures are the same shape, but they are not the same size. Look at this figure. Click on the figure that is similar but not congruent. That's right! Similar figures are the same shape, but they are not the same size. Look at this figure. Click on the figure that is similar but not congruent. Absolutely! Similar figures are the same shape, but they are not the same size. Look at these figures. Click on the one that shows the line of symmetry in the right place. Great work! A line of symmetry is the line where the figure can be divided into identical halves. Look at this figure. How many lines of symmetry does it have? Great! A line of symmetry divides a figure into identical halves. Look at the lines of symmetry on this rectangle. Wow! You know a lot about congruency and similarity and symmetry. Now here's a bigger challenge to find some matches. Look at the figures in the top row. Find each figure's congruent figure in the rows below. Drag them onto their congruent figure in the top row. That's right! Now look at the figures that are left. Click and drag them onto their similar figures in the top row. Awesome! Great job! Now look at these figures. Find the numbers of lines of symmetry in each one. Type it in the box below each figure. Then add them up and type the total lines of symmetry in the box at the end. Great job! Hey, I get it now! I'll start drawing! Ada, I'm just about done with my drawings! Here are two congruent figgy berries that reflect each other. And here are three similar mago berries. And finally, two berries separated along their lines of symmetry. Those are fantastic, Tracy! No! <laughs> Thanks, Ada. I couldn't have done it without you. Oh, you're the artist. I'm just the geometer. Good luck with your exhibit. Good luck with your geometering or your geometrying. Let's go find some frames for these and some extra berries for your snack. 
You've been a good audience. Remember, congruent figures have to be the exact same shape and size. Try again. Remember, congruent figures have to be the exact same shape and size. Try again. Figures that are the exact same shape and size are congruent. Remember, congruent figures have to be the exact same shape and size. Try again. Remember, congruent figures have to be the exact same shape and size. Try again. Remember, a reflected figure is a flip of another figure over a line. Try again. Remember, similar figures are the same shape but are not the same size. Try again. Remember, similar figures are the same shape but are not the same size. Try again. Remember, similar figures are the same shape but are not the same size. Try again. Remember, a line of symmetry is the line where the figure can be divided into identical halves. Try again. Remember, a line of symmetry divides a figure into identical halves. Try again and make sure you're only counting lines that divide the figure in half. Try again. Try again. Try again. <laughs>